This is the VoiceOver Gurus Podcast. Real talk about the voiceover industry with your hosts, Linda Bruno and J.J. Wilson. All right, I think we're good. Excellent. All right, now are you recording on your end? No, but on the machine I am. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, You're a card. You're a card. Ever been called a card? Oh, yes, and mostly that I'm missing a few cards. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not playing with a full deck. Or, as I said to you last night, she's missing the yellow crayon. Well, welcome back, everybody, to the VoiceOver Gurus podcast. It seems like we actually have the ability to record video this time. We haven't posted a video in a oh, good video. long while. Sorry, can't pick my nose. Yeah, so Sorry. don't. Is that why welcome, you wore your? Everybody. Is... Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is that why you wore your Snoopy shirt? Uh, it is. It is. I, I wanted to wear a little peanuts today. Peanuts. I like yeah. it. Thank peanuts. you. Has red buttons and yellow thread. So cool. <laughs> so our last two podcasts, because we had to split it into two, <clears throat> were with Paul Strickwerda. Yes. And that was so amazing. What did you think of him? I I thought he was amazing at his approach. I, I really did. It, it opened my eyes to quite a few things. And um, it's in the same realm, I think, of what we teach. Yeah, but, but different. Differently, and it was deeper. Yes. And I really, uh, I, I, yeah, yeah. He almost made me calmer about the business. I know. <laughs> He's like a psychiatrist of voiceovers. He has almost a meditative approach <clears throat> yes. to the whole process. And yeah. when, when he said he was a vis- visibility coach, I'm like, what the heck is that? Well, right here, you can <laughs> see me. That's what right? I told him. But he said, no, that's not what I mean. But and I went, it makes perfect sense because he really does talk about the next level after you get your training and you get your demo. It's like, now what? You know, how do I make myself unique? So, exactly. so what exactly. he coaches really is valuable. And uh, little bird told me that he's going to join us for some workouts in the future. Oh, really? You have a lot of little birds. Where I do. do. You them all? I <laughs> do. I have a little cage in my sound booth, uh, <laughs> and then I take uh, them out when I have to work. So that's going to be exciting because uh, dachshund doesn't do anything but bark. So it'll be a great. Uh, you know, great perspective, get his great perspective on your, uh, on your abilities. So I think we're going to move that to the fall since the summer has been a little wacky. Okay. Um, it's also very hot. It is hot. It is yeah. hot. But Today otherwise. it's only 87, which is just a lovely thing because it's been 97 here. Well, here in, in New York, it's like 77 and sunny. So I'm uh, not, not to push it in your face, but you know. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I think we're underarm pads. It's terrible. It's terrible. So welcome yeah. back to the VoiceOver Gurus podcast. Um, we are excited to be here again. We're always excited to be here. I am excited. Yeah. And um, we got a question from our our very popular student, Tony. Tony. T- Tony. Yes. <laughs> we'll use his secret name. How, how, how does the audience know it's a secret name? Because you just said I it. I just gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. His name is really Annette. No. <laughs> Uh, and that, what is that question uh, that you that uh, that uh, Tony had for us? Because I question. I think I was discussing this with another student last night, and I could be terribly wrong. See, I'm already answering the question. You haven't <laughs> even asked it yet. I haven't. So Tony wants to know. Yes. If you get an audition script, if it appears that the audition script consists of the whole script for the job, yes. do you record all of it and send that? Well, I think it first depends on if they say, please record a whole script. Right. Mm -hmm. If they don't, then don't. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What do you do, like 75% or? Yeah, I give them a good taste. And sometimes um, I will record the whole thing. I'll send them half. And in the notes section to the pay to plays, I will say, I have the rest recorded and edited. If you decide to go with me, I can have you the rest of the file in five minutes. Oh, nice. Because it's already done. Oh, I like that. Sometimes they do that when they, and I also do the same thing when they say, read the entire thing, but I only do that with the pay to plays. Right. My agents, my agents, 
I have no worries. They're not right. going to let that happen. Right. I record the whole thing and send it off without a worry in my mind. Yeah. But the paid plays, I would be careful because I've had a couple, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, about 30 times in my career that, that somebody has uh, said, oh, yeah, you did this audition. And then they either call and say you didn't get it or they never call back. Mm-hmm. And then some, you know, stumbling upon something on the Internet, a YouTube video. And there I am. Mm-hmm. And I went, those sons of a guns. What did you do about it? I called him up and I said, how much are you paying me for that, the one that I didn't get? Ooh. And he said, oh, God, they used it? And I went, yes, they did. Was this who? This was through a pay-to-play? Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. And you don't want to say what pay-to-play it was? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. It rhymes with hoises... Done, boo, free. <laughs> done, boo, three. It rhymes with that. <gasps> okay. So if you can figure that out, <laughs> it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, the other one is, of course, uh, choices, rot, mom. <laughs> This is definitely our new reference for, the, for for these pay to plays. What's the other one? Hoises. Choices, rotten mom. No, what's the first one? Hoises. Oh, uh, ho- what did I say? I don't even remember now. I have to listen back to the podcast. Ho- hoises. Ooh. Hoises. Plot. <laughs> done through tree. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it is. So anyway, you contacted them and said, hello, it was used. No, I went straight. Yeah, I, I, I contacted the client. Oh, the that, client directly. That I okay. Went and I, I, I said, gee golly. And that's happened with a couple of regular producers as well. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, sometimes they just, I don't know, they have no scruples. That's but I, crazy. I do know that some car dealers that we do stuff for and some things that you and I record and that everybody records, you know, there's a cut down of a 15 somewhere running of that that they, <laughs> yeah. we, we never got paid for. Yeah, it's true. I find that out all the time with car stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we made it into a 15 as well. And I went, oh, great. That's good. Yeah, I'm but, supposed to know, get paid for that. The honest people, the honest agents, the honest people that, you know, uh, that we work with, um, We'll say, hey, we're going to do a cut down. We, that includes what cut one cut down the pay. Right. And it's usually a little bit more. You know, right. They pay you a little stipend for the not having to do anything except them doing it, and they get another spot out of it. Yeah, for the usage. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's how I handle that. Um, if they ask for the whole thing and it's an agent, go for it. Yeah. Go for it. Edit it. Make it sound fantastic. Mm-hmm. And in the other case, what I do if they ask for the whole thing on a pay-to-play, I will record the whole thing, but only send them part of it and mm-hmm. write that note. In there, that That's a great idea. I I base it d- dependent on the length of the script. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. If it's a seventeen-minute video, I'm not really. <laughs> No. But I mean, if, even if it's like a two minute script, I'm uh, not really going to record the whole thing. And I record a decent part of it. And I find a good place to kind of stop <laughs> um, right. where it seems, then, <laughs> I know, not an awkward <laughs> pause, but a, right. a natural pause. And can't possibly finish it. <laughs> but I'm thinking, but I'm thinking to myself, they're judging based on your read and if it's going to work for their client. Right. And I get it if it was like a 30 second spot and you read half of it. What they're trying to do is get themselves a scratch track sometimes. Yeah, exactly. And I'm build, thinking build video too. The pers- the purpose of an audition is to be able to hear the different voices and plus also you're going to get what 50 auditions and you're going to listen to, you know, 100 minutes, minutes. of yes. of of recordings. <laughs> so, to me, Try to wow them from the first, you know, whatever yeah. amount it is. And then if it's a long thing, if it's short, I do take my chances a lot of times on the pay to plays. Yeah. Used to anyway. Um, yeah. With agents, I give them whatever they want. Exactly right. <laughs> whatever and, an agent know, asks I, for. Or a production clients? company. And if somebody reaches out and says audition, I do exactly what they ask. Right. And sometimes you can get a feel. Uh, I have a client that I work with that I, you know, I read the whole thing and... He says, you know, it's between you and a couple other guys. 
Just read me the full thing. We're going to use your voice for the scratch. And for those of you who don't know what a scratch is, it's, it's a track that is read first. You read the copy first. Then they build the video to your read. Mm-hmm. And either the client goes, yeah, let's keep that voice on there. I like the way he sounds. Or let's, can I hear what, the, you know, voice number two sounds like with that video now? So they will read along with my script, my read, and put it in there in the same timing. And, you know, you may get the job, you may not. But it gives you a better chance if you are the scratch voice. True. True. So, But yeah. now when they tell you you're going to be the scratch, are you asking for anything monetarily? No. Not on this account because it's a biggie, and a, a, a nine times out of ten, it's me anyway. So, right, okay. So if it's an no existing client, that. yeah, it's right. someone that you've done right. business with, then right. you're basically doing them a favor by giving them a scratch track. Exactly right. Because exactly right. You shouldn't <laughs> naturally be recording scratch tracks for nothing. No, uh, there <laughs> there are some cases where the you know a, a client you get the job and they send their scratch track that they did before, Aye. you know, they knew they were going to use me, but they didn't want me, they, they felt bad, they wouldn't want to read the script. So they First had the receptionist read it? Uh, well, uh, there's, it's uh, in one of the accounts, it's an English guy who I believe has scuba gear on because he <laughs> never freaking takes a breath! <laughs> Ever! <laughs> <laughs> and he talks about this fast. I'm going, please. I'm it wasn't one straight. of those AI voices, that British AI voice? No. No, oh, okay. no, it, this guy is no, no. And I just, I just said, you know, if you ever want to, I'd be happy to, to, to do the scratch for you. Yeah. That way it'll be somewhere in the ballpark of, you know, and it'll probably be about a half a minute longer too. <laughs> <laughs> he never takes a breath. It's just, so I'm reading there and I'm going, how am I going to keep up with this guy? I'm taking <laughs> every breath that I've ever taken in my whole lifetime and squishing everything together. And it's just so, yeah. And then sometimes you get one. Uh, like from a Spanish agency, and they're converting it to an en English version right. for the English-speaking and listening um, board members or what have you, and and they do it. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, or, or sometimes I actually read to the Spanish, even though I don't speak it. Mm -hmm. But you can kind of get a feel of where they end right. and begin and end and begin. But the Spanish is so many more words. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, sometimes you really have to slow down. <laughs> to stay in yeah that's that's uh that, that's another thing that we do a lot that we don't talk about much is reading to someone else's track you have to actually load the video and the audio mm -hmm. onto whatever program you're using and then you have to create a new track and you have to read the script in the same amount of time he does you have to start with him and end with him at the end of every mm -hmm. sentence if you're off a little bit in the middle it's okay but not much Especially if they're not, if they're showing a list of things on the screen, they've got to hit when you right. say number three, and that has to be appearing. So you got to stay with them. But for the most part, you have to stay pretty darn close. The same holds true though with if you're having to pick up on your own narration. So yes. something that you've recorded, like I, yesterday, I did a job for someone, and my rule is if I haven't worked with you before, <laughs> you always ask, and I'm not telling you. Um, <laughs> So he had me, <laughs> he gave me the, the script you, no. and I, my, my rules are that I'm going to read for you the first like two paragraphs in whatever right. style it is you said, and then I need you to approve it. So I usually give two versions. So yesterday I gave one, um, it was for a rehab center out out west i gave one pretty warm and empathetic and the other one was like hey dude hey what's up off? yeah let's go drinking some <laughs> Oops. and then the second one was a little more corporate-y i guess a little more but with a touch of empathy you know okay so i send them off he picks version two which was the corporate-y with a touch of empathy fine so i was like great so i loaded in the existing thing he approved right. and I continued from it because it right. had been approved. And you just, do you put it on a track and like read most of it to get yes. yourself way back in that mode? Yes. And then just keep reading. Right. Yes. So it's like yeah. you get the pacing down, you match yourself. Plus I also have right. to match myself like as far as tonality goes and, and right. the feel. And I will frequently pause, go back to the beginning of the file, listen to it again and compare them. Yes. to make sure because heaven knows there are times you know we've been doing this for so long that we have a lot of variance in our reads and yes. uh, there can be 
you might not even think about. It, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, gosh, I sound too caring now at the end. I didn't start that way. Right. You know. So, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's the same thing. You have to listen. Yeah. You have to pay attention to the timings. You have to pay attention yeah. to your pacing, too, yeah. Yeah. to what it is. So that's the answer to that question, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Um, and could I, I, I just, I, I, I have some honesty that I'd like to share with, with everybody. Should we, should we just continue the question first and then we come back to your honesty? Oh, we, did we answer? We, there's we more answer to that? it. There's more. Oh, there's a second part? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. I just thought oh. we'd interrupt that with a short story. <laughs> it's not funny or anything. It's just, it's from the heart. Okay, which you, let's let's okay, let's hear what you got. Well, I, as I, I told you, you know, three four weeks back, I had been I did a session for a client I've had for many years, and um, there was there was problems. I I, I messed up a, a, a word or two here there. Yes. I just flip flopped them, and the word at the end there would have been no way I would have ever known. I could have looked it up until I was blue, and I still wouldn't have known. Well, I probably might have. I probably should have called. <laughs> And uh, the read matched pretty well. But what that did for me was tell me <laughs> that, you know what, you've been doing this a long time, and you kind of do it in autopilot sometimes. Ah. Uh, yep. And, you know, you come in, you go, oh, okay, it's that, blah, 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 bleah, blah. I'm you guilty of that too, yeah. Back, mm -hmm. And you send it off. And uh, it's, it's a bad thing to fall into. Um, you have to kind of grab a hold of yourself and say, you still got to do it like you did it 20 years ago. You've got to give it that amount of time. Right. And so yesterday he sent me another script for, for the next episode. And when I took my time and was very careful about it and made sure there was everything was right, it took twice as long. Hmm. Um, but I thought that overall the read was better. There were no mistakes. I listened to it like four times just to be sure. And I got a really good read, excellent, no changes. Thank you so much. But I just want to remind the people who have been doing this a long time that you can fall into that trap. Yes. You know, it's a car spot. Okay, I'm in. It's out the door in a minute and a half. Right. Take out the breaths and go boom. <clears throat> and you've gotten the price wrong. Right. <laughs> you know, a new Lincoln Navigator from $2,300. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. That's amazing. <laughs> they would call me go, that's uh, a <laughs> thousand. Yeah, okay. So just, just beware of that. And, and uh, you know, it's it's not an easy thing to admit, but you just, you do this so long and you just get in that trap. We get into our modes, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I got five things to do. Let me get through this first one. It's long, but you have to, and I'm always been the type. And I think part of the reason people hire me is because that I am fast. Mm -hmm. You know, if they send me a car spot, they know that it's not going to be tomorrow at 2.30. And a lot of people do that. Right. You know, I, I'll get it back to you tomorrow between 10 and 12. And I'm going, no, I'm not doing anything right now. I'll be back to you in eight minutes so you can work on it and get it on the air. Right. But I've, I, I'm guilty of going too fast sometimes. Interesting. I've had, I've had the guy, the producer of Channel 7 said, how did you record that? I haven't even sent you the copy yet. That's mm -hmm. how fast I got it back to him. I mean, it was literally under 60 seconds. It was just two lines. But then I realized that, you know, maybe I'm getting older. And they know I'm always going to do it. And it doesn't have to be done in eight minutes. If it's 12, it's okay. And it's probably better, right? You know, so Yay, that, right. that's just something I wanted to say. Take your time and make sure that your work is up to puff. Up to, up to puff. Up to puff. I've had that <laughs> I situation. Just a new saying. <laughs> I've had that situation happen a few times though, where um, I'm so speedy, and then they send me a copy change like five minutes later, and I'm like, crap. <laughs> I know exactly. Exactly. Oh, sorry. They cha client changed the entire script. Can you? Can you? So go ahead yeah. and record it. And I went. Yeah. I already did. Yeah. And that's a, that's a very good point. That's that's a downfall of that's happened to me so many times. <laughs> you read the whole thing; it's a great read, and then they send it back and go. Before you record, we just right. thought I know. changes, and I said I already sent it back. I hate seeing that. Before you record, or I yeah. hope you didn't record this yet, because yes. you know. And I'm like, ah, uh, yeah, I did, I did. So, uh, I right. usually do that. I wait for um, Disney when they 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 book the session. Like I have one for next. It's due. Monday night for me. Um, they'll send me everything, probably all the materials Friday to download. Right. I'm going to wait till Monday because 
nine times out of ten, they'll say, "Can you use this script instead?" Right. We, we don't have want a change. Bell in this one. Yeah, we, we, we want the swirly cups. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I've learned that way because I'm like, oh, now I got to open up the session. I got to make sure my energy's the same and all that. But um, sometimes, you know, very good point you brought up, though. I forgot all about that part. Yeah, being being a little too <laughs> I've quick. I said it. <laughs> Before being, you record, well, being, you know me. <laughs> being a little too a little too quick isn't always the best thing. No, it's not. It's not. So, what's the second half of Peter's question? Uh, Peter <laughs> said, "Oh, he we answered this part. If so, do you purposely alter something in the script to make the recording unuse unusable? Change yes, the phone number. Sounds are good to put farting underneath. sounds or address. Yes. So you, do you know that you know that Dave Corey and I did that once. <laughs> we when back in the days when we had two tracks, we had two two tracks." And we would go uh, uh, very fast, the fastest speed on the two track, and Dave would fart into the microphone. Oh. And then we would slow that down and record it to the other two track, and then slow that at, at high speed, then slow it down again until we had like a minute and a half of. <laughs> and we used to put it underneath the spots that ran on the station. Oh my God. <laughs> Wow, I'm sure glad I didn't have to use those microphones. Okay, no. no <laughs> the mics no. you're farting into. <laughs> yes, yes. They were a real gas. So, mm. <laughs> so you've never actually removed something to make the recording unus unusable. The way that we make oh, it yes. unusable. Oh, yes, I have. I have. You and have. You can either change the name of the client. And see, what what I think should be done by these people is that, that half of the auditions they get, they change the name of the client. Right. You know, that, that's the fair thing to do. It's a very easy problem to fix and take the worry out of our end. Just to send us something else with a different name. Well, the client won't be able to get it and understand. Well, you know what? <laughs> Help him mm -hmm. or her or them or right. us or whatever. But, yeah, I've left things out. You know, just the phone number. Mm -hmm. uh, the stuff I know they can't just stick in there. And, yeah. But I'm very trusting. I really, Me really too. Am. I'm like you. I really am. Me too. I very rarely watermark anything. I want to believe that they're honestly casting and really going to pick the right person and do the right thing and pay yes. that person. Maybe yes. it's, I don't know. It's worked out so far. <laughs> I'm going to yes. say that. <laughs> so. And it is better for the, for the client to be able to hear the whole spot. Mm -hmm. You know, so they can really get a feel of how you begin in the middle and then how you end it. Exactly. And that way they get the full story. And so... Take a chance. It's a good world. They, um, <laughs> <laughs> there's one production company that sends me auditions. I've yet to work for them yet. Um, What's their name? Let's and they <laughs> they Sorry. require you to read the whole thing. I mean, yes. beginning to end because they make the video to it. And they present to their client fully produced Yes, that's what they projects. do with my client I was talking mm -hmm. about earlier. Yep. So they're not just playing voices. Right. Like they're playing right. the fully produced thing. But okay, the second part to his question was is Alan's question, it, Alan's question okay, was good. is your audition process different for a direct client, an agent, or a P2P like horse, horses? So what was <laughs> horses, rot, nom? <laughs> right. So do you have a different process? No. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Well, what did you say before we started? You said I, I work Only harder for the good agents. <laughs> I work harder for the agents. But no, you, this is showbiz. Whether they're you know Jimmy Bob's Car Wash in Oklahoma or um, uh, Cheerios, I give it the same amount of energy for both. But what I if I managed to as many takes of Jimmy's Car Wash? What if you get Jimmy's Car Wash in perpetuity for five hundred bucks? Gonna live on their website. And then your agent calls and says, you know, I got a $10,000 gig for you for, you know, I don't I know. I just have to wear more deodorant. 10 lines. Second. That's all. I mean, so, <laughs> but you give equal amount of attention? Yes. Because it's the little little gigs that keep you going. Well, sure. I'm just saying that maybe you give the little gig a great amount of attention, but the big gig a yeah, the big gig lot of sweat. attention. Yes, yes. Yes. I do, yeah, you, you tend to get more... Oh my God! You know, oh yeah, there is that. There is that. So probably there is a bit more energy going into it. Yeah, right. Yeah, but I try. 
and that's the other trap that you can fall into when you've been doing it as long as we have is that the little guys, okay, I'll just do this one. And then I got this big audition I got to work on. And, you know, you could have booked the 500 bucks. And if you do yeah. that four or five times a week, you're making a hundred grand a year. So now know. do you get nervous though, when you get like these really big jobs to audition for? No, no, I get nervous if I book them, but only for a second. <laughs> you know, I feel, you know, I say to myself, oh my God, I just booked a Purina and there's going to be people on the phone, and I'm so, so you get hard. the butterflies for that. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, but I use them wisely. Nice. I don't let them take over, and they're gone by the, you know, I try humor. Do you know that I'm humorous sometimes? I try to be a little no. humorous. No. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Because it's not on your demo. I wouldn't know. Right. No, well, I'm going <laughs> to do a single demo with just that on it. <laughs> so. <laughs> Send it to me. Okay, no. Um... But yeah, 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 no. Maybe you should talk. Energy. Sorry. Oh, goodness gracious. If that's gracious. for me, I'm in the shower, okay? <laughs> I have someone coming to see, let's just let this go to a voicemail. I have someone coming to see the, the uh, studio uh, in like 20 minutes. Ah. And they've already called twice with questions. So it's going to be one of those visits. Gotcha. <laughs> is that real wood on your wall? Yeah, I know. <laughs> or is that why don't, laminate? Why don't you talk about, I don't think... Um, our student would care if you talked about the question that he had regarding the pay to play and creating individual. Ah, <clears throat> one of our students, we'll call him Timmy, um, <laughs> asked about, he just joined, joined voice one, two, three and said that he got, was getting, uh, heard two women who were, uh, I couldn't really understand at first whether they were actually working as you know, the, the owners or, you know, the part of the team at voice one, two, three, or they were just members mm -hmm. and they were telling the people that maybe on a podcast or something that, yes, you really need to get just snippets of your demo. And that way, when the, uh, you know, sometimes when they send auditions, they say, don't, you know, no custom audition required. Mm -hmm. They say, just send sample. Right. So what I do is I send my demo. Mm hmm. Um, but now according to what they're saying, oh no, 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 no. It's best to have just a sample of the kind of read they're looking for. Mm. Well, I'm sorry, but how the hell are we supposed to know what kind of read they're looking for? Right. You know, we have eight spots on our demo. What am I supposed to do? Pick one that I think is right. Cause once they get through that and it's wrong, you're done. Mm. If you send your whole demo, maybe the next spot is closer to what they want. You never know, and we know this been from the from the descriptions they they give that are you know, paragraph long. He's tall but short, funny but short, and and we want him to be indicative, right. and 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 this and that. So I said, you know, you could call the first part in your demo three different things. Right. Which one are you going to send it for? And mm -hmm. I, I just. I don't know if I buy that. And I, I, I asked him, I said, if I cut up your demo, some of the reads are going to be seven seconds. And he said, oh, that's what they said to do. And I said, really? Really? They're going to be able to tell with a two-second two, two second intro and then five seconds of you whether you're perfect for that spot. <laughs> well, that's the trend right now, JJ. I, I know, but I don't think it should be. I think they're, they're doing themselves a disfavor by not getting all of the opportunities that are in front of them. I think they're that in such a damn, they're like me. They're like us. They're in such a hurry to get the damn thing done because everybody's pressuring them that, Oh, oh you just need five seconds. Yeah, he's good. Let's go. I think at this point though, you can't go wrong with what we've talked about in the past. Cause what I have on my website is my samples described by the type of read. Right. So it's not a client name. It's warm and caring. It's right conversational so if that's the vein you're thinking where you just want to start to label the ver various aspects of your demo by those keywords right. i understand that you know but suppose they don't <clears throat> think what you think suppose the ear of the beholder is different they go that wasn't warm and caring what a jerk i'm moving on <laughs> Seriously. I know, but I get that. But for me, <coughs> it's actually worked out pretty well because yeah. it's made it very easy for people to cast me because in their mind, they're like, I need a warm and caring read. So they go and listen. They go, oh, great. And then they ask me about that. It just seems it's it's one step that people, one less step where people have to think. We'll put it that way. 
because sad? it's sad because instead of listening to a full demo and deciding for yourself what the read means for you, you need right. to be told the emotion that is being expressed. Uh, it's just a reality of it. So I, I understand all where the he's coming from. Out there should take our course. <laughs> it would give them a perspective of what we go through on this end. Yeah, Lear and learn. And how we take their instructions that are a paragraph long. Yeah, we what? take them to heart. I know. <laughs> what? I know. Keep it simple. So know? are you going to try and um, separate things out? Are you going to talk to him I'm first? I'm going to separate things out for him, yes. And uh, I may just do it myself. Oh, very nice. I may just do it myself. One of them is going to be, uh-huh. That's, that's going to be the, <laughs> I agree with you, Reed. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to go, no. That's going to be my, my master. <laughs> and then I'm going to go, what? That's going to be my romantic read. Um, so they'll they'll be able to get a good gist of what I'm I'm, I'm doing. Oh, yeah, and the other great. one, I'm just going to play music and not say anything. Okay, I like that. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. like that. That's yeah, funny. That's my that's my really laid back read. The today read, you know, the yeah. I don't give a shit about anything read. <laughs> um, I, I didn't care so much that I didn't even record anything. So there, oh that's my God, that, there's that read guy. too. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> Um, all right, so that does it for this episode of the Voiceover Gurus it podcast. Seems to go by so fast, it really does. It? It but really um, does. don't this forget. One, Those were good questions. Don't forget to visit because... our website because we have um, the online course that you can take that several people have taken now. It's fantastic, um, yes. and it's a great, easy way for you to get in with uh, being able to study with us very affordably. So just go to the website voiceover.guru. You just scroll down a little bit. You'll see it says online starter course. Um, and join us. Then this way, where do you're... I go for the online starter course? Voiceover.guru. Oh, okay. Yeah, does scroll... it say online starter course? <laughs> it does. It does. Because ah, we've got a few people ask where that is. <laughs> and also, it's right under where it says online voiceover course. Yeah. You can also register for our online voiceover workouts there at the website right. too. Um, we've got a couple for this month, July. Um, and then August, we'll see, because a lot of people go on vacation, especially post-COVID, so we'll see. Yes, J.J. Wilson is going on vacation. So, yes, he is. Uh, yeah. Yes, he, he is. He drive a lot. Any questions yeah. or comments or topic suggestions, email us at info at voiceover.guru. Guru. Hey, have a great yeah. day, J.J. Hey, you know, you were talking about registered. And I just wanted to tell you that in the news yesterday, an unregistered nurse was arrested for making collective scene phone calls. An unregistered nurse. I don't think about this. Was say do it again. An, an unregistered nurse, nurse was arrested for making collect obscene phone calls. <laughs> But you have to be our age to know what collect means. So oh, I know, my God. Okay. All right. Yeah. And even that is kind of like <laughs> go, yeah, going a little. Yeah. Not one of your better ones. Well, I'm sorry. Not one of your better Carlin. ones. I'll blame it on him. But you have amazing ones. So Thank it's, you. it's, Thank uh, you. it's yeah. good. Leave me with another George Carlin one. Uh, uh, let me what? see. The plane, yeah. the plane ones. Oh, yes. Uh, George Carlin says, you know, I don't understand airports. Uh, they they always make the announcement that we have to likely to pre-board, and he says, "What do they want me to do? Get on the plane before I get on the plane? What does that mean?" <laughs> uh, yes, please get in the plane. On the plane? <laughs> no, in the plane. Yes, I'm not riding on the wing. Anyway. And there so you that, go. <laughs> that, thanks for joining us again for the 94th podcast, and I'd like to thank all the names that we used today for the two people we were talking about. <laughs> Exactly. They understand and I'm us. Probably not going to remember their names <laughs> now because of that. So, Jimmy. So, yeah. Everyone have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. And choices rot nom. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.